بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله the beautiful supplication which I want to remind myself and my brothers and sisters which is simple on the tongue to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often with and that is Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab al Oh Allah, O oh our Lord, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana Give us in this life good wa fil akhirati hasana and in the hereafter give us good wa qina adhab al nar and save us from the hellfire. So in this supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we see that the supplicant is asking first, first they're imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this shows us this is, this is a dua. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give you good in this life. Because right now, we are living in this life. We're living in this world. And we need the good of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need uh, help and assistance. We need support. We need our rizq. We need help in our ibadah. So we implore part of that good that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you in this life is that he gives you tawfiq. In your ibadah even. That he gives you, uh, blesses you with the class with the Blesses you to be a believer. Blesses you to worship him and him alone. That is also good of this dunya. So don't think that good. A lot of times we think of the good in material senses. But if we really reflect the best good that you can have is to be favored with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That you are remembering Allah. That Allah has favored you to remember him. That's powerful. That's powerful for the mu'min. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, <coughs> supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for good in this life as well as the hereafter. And we know in this life, as the Salaf used to say, Adunya dar al amal wal akhirah dar al jaza. That this life is the time for deeds, and the hereafter is the time for reaping the rewards of those deeds. So, supplicating to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for good in this life, as well as the hereafter, means that you have a good end. And the only way you can have a good end and have that comfort in the, in the, uh, in the grave, in Al-Barazakh, and in Jannah bi idnillah ta'ala, is by the tawfiq of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So that shows that you would have had to have tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the dunya in order to get that tawfiq in the hereafter. You know, you would have had the tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that either he pardoned you for the big sins you were committing or that he favored you to be of Ahl al in this life. That he favored you to be of those people who did not have major sins in this life. Who were the obedient ones who loved Allah and followed his commandments and fought, loved the Messenger وسلم, and followed his sunnah. So this is why Habatifillah, it's imperative to supplicate and know and understand those supplications. Reflect upon those supplications. Not just have it on your tongue. And you don't even know anything about the meaning. Even in the base sense. But try to reflect. And put your heart there. And asking and have hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will, will grant you that tawfiq. رَبَّنَا آتَنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِينَا ذَابَ النَّارِ وَصَلَى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمْ على نبينا محمد 
وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم